That's me. You gotta bring all the kids up to take a photo. It's gonna be in the way. I wouldn't wait till then. I would tend I would have moved it right over there in front of Rob Landell. I'm not in charge, I just make the suggestions. everyone. The um, 7 p.m. work session meeting of the Wyckoff Township Committee for February 15th is now in order, in session. Nancy, roll call. Mr. Madigan? Here. Mr. Melchion? Here. Ms. Rubenstein? 
Mr. Shanley? Here. And Mayor Boonstone? Here. Okay, uh, meeting notice, please. This regular work session meeting of the Wyckoff Township Committee is now in session. In accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act, notice of this meeting appears on our annual schedule of meetings. A copy of said annual schedule has been posted on the bulletin board in Memorial Town Hall. A copy has been filed with the municipal clerk and has been emailed to the record, the Ridgewood News, and the North Jersey Herald and News, all newspapers having a general circulation throughout the township of Wyckoff. At least 48 hours prior to this meeting, the agenda thereof was similarly posted, filed, and emailed to said newspapers. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Okay, welcome football players, parents, and coaches. Tonight, we have the uh, pleasure of presenting proclamations to our football champions. How about that? Give yourselves a round of applause. We have the juniors and the seniors here. We have a, diff a different, obviously different proclamation for each group. I will read the proclamation for the juniors, and Rec Commissioner Shanley will read the proclamation for the seniors when I'm finished. So just bear with me here. Whereas the Wyckoff Raider junior football team is the 2021 North Northern Bergen Junior Football League Super Bowl champion by virtue of a 21-6 semifinal win over Ridgewood on November 6, 2021 at Continental Soldiers Field in Mawa. In its convincing 19-0 Super Bowl shutout over Fairlawn on November 13, 2021 at Rampa High School in Franklin Lakes. And whereas this exceptional group of players and coaches completed their season with an overall record of nine wins and one loss and ended the season ranked number two in the final NBJFL ratings. The team succeeded due in large part to its strong defense who in their nine victories allowed only three scores. Wow. 18 total points all season long and only allowed five scores over on the season, over on the season. And whereas the Wyckoff Raider junior football team benefited greatly from the dedication, commitment, and leadership of head coach Tim Murtha and assistant coaches Anthony Frisco, Ryan Kelly, Jason Steffens, Tim Wellerman, Jack Conklin, and Jack Laurie. And whereas the Wyckoff Raider junior football team would not have been as successful as they were this season without the constant energy and support of the Wyckoff Junior cheerleaders. Their enthusiastic, exuberant cheering during the games and at halftimes gave the team extra boost they needed to win the Super Bowl. And whereas, special thanks are extended to parents, coaches, the Wyckoff football boosters, and the Wyckoff recreation staff for their never-ending commitment and support. And whereas, a special group of boys, James Arbucho, Brandon Bianchini, William Boothby, James Boothby, Ethan Brantley, Eric Browser, Travis Cannon, Michael Carpenter, Anthony Cavalieri, Jude Sesertia, Dominic Colello, Albert Costello III, Daniel Daval, Christopher DeMarco, Christian Dextres, Asher Drapkin, Drapkin, Thomas Duca, Liam Fossey, Jake Feiner, Matthew Firstman, Joe Fitzgerald, Hudson Fox, Joseph Francica, Luca Frisco, Thomas Giovacco, Michael Gerba, Mason Hardeveld, Alex Hernandez, Jasper Ho, Charlie Jordan, Austin Kelly, Lucas Lynch, Charlie Lynch, Luke McGurko, Dylan Mapes, Luke Murray, Owen, Owen O'Connell, Ashton O'Hagan, Mike Payne, Michael Payne, Nico Pisano, Michael Petrella, Cole Petrevsky, Matthew Pisani, Grayson Polizzi, Oliver Poro, Maxwell Renshaw, Mason Russos, Peter Santos, Brian Schiller, Joseph Sakuk Solakis, David Sojavaski, Jeffrey Sully Jr., Sully Jr., Alexander Thomas, Jonathan Trabowski, Christopher Wallach, Matthew Willeman, Adrian Rana, and Benjamin Yenowitz. Achieved these extraordinary feats due to their commitment to unselfish team play, tireless work ethic, outstanding football skills, and their overall commitment to the game. Now, therefore, it be it proclaimed by the Township Committee, the Township of Wyckoff, County of Bergen, State of New Jersey, that the 21, 2021 Raider Junior Football Team, their head coach, Tim Murtha, and his staff are hereby extended congratulations on behalf of our entire community for the significant success they have achieved and our thanks to serving as positive role models 
for the young athletes of our community and for illustrating the rewards which can be achieved through commitment and diligence in pursuing excellence. This is witnessed by my hand this 21st day of December 2021 by Melissa Rubenstein, who was our mayor last year and who cannot be with us tonight, unfortunately. I had asked her to uh, help me hand these out because she was as much a part of this as I am, clearly. So congratulations all. And now, Commissioner Shanley will read the, uh, the seniors. Okay. Um, welcome to here. Uh, welcome for, thanks for coming tonight. Uh, I have the honor of reading for the seniors. Whereas the Wyckoff Raiders senior football team is the 2021 North Northern Bergen Junior Football League Super Bowl champion by virtue of its 25 to nothing semifinal win over Riverdale on November 6, 2021 at Continental Soldiers Field in Mawa and its hard fought 26 to 13 Super Bowl victory over Highlands football on November 13th, 2021 at Ramapo High School in Franklin Lakes, New Jersey. Whereas this exceptional group of players and coaches completed their season with an overall record of 10 wins and zero losses and ended the season ranked number one in the final NBJFL rankings. The team succeeded due, to, due in large part to its incredible stout defense who allowed one score or less in eight of its 10 games, including four shutout victories. And whereas the Wyckoff Raider football team benefited greatly from the dedication, commitment, and leadership of head coach uh, Marty McGurko and assistant coaches John Albanese, uh, Rob Night Nightingale, Frank Hensalato, uh, Chris LaCour, John LaDuca, Mark DeFrancensis, Peter Hardefeld, and uh, Harrison Fenners, and whereas the Wyckoff Raiders senior football team would not have been as successful as they were this season without the constant energy and support from the Wyckoff senior cheerleaders and their enthusiastic and exuberant cheer during the games and at halftime gave the extra boost they needed to defeat their opponents each and every week of this season. And whereas special thanks is extended to the parents, coaches, the Wyckoff football boosters, and the Wyckoff education re recreation staff for their never-ending commitment and support. And whereas a special group of boys, Peter Amario, Tyon Aiden, Justin Bossolino, Mason Brain, Austin Cahill, Nicholas Carroll, Ryan Conlin, Gavin Cordisco, Aiden Crowley, Griffin Damasi, Braddock Damasi, Dario Ficca, Mac Fitzgerald, Brady Fox, Gabriel Galasso, Renzo Geraldo, Luke Gerba, Pete Peter Hardefeld, Liam Hayward, Brody Ismael, Harrison Carney, Finn Kerwin, Shane LaDuca, Scott Larson, Finn McCarthy, Charlie Messinio, Kyle Opolinski, Robert Phillips, Gavin Poro, Jake Scoropanos, Cole Seifer, Brian Shanley, Matthew Shanley, Tyler Sorafine, Carson Stremski, Mar Marcello Thierry, Louis Trebosky, Mike Michael Visco, Hudson Villarule, Alex Waz, Alec Waz, sorry, Luke Wyatruck, and Etai Young achieved these extraordinary feats due to their commitment to unselfish play, tireless work ethic, outstanding football skills, and their overall commitment to the game of football. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed by the Township Committee of the Township of Wyckoff, County of Bergen, State of New Jersey, that the 2021 Wyckoff Raiders senior football team, their head coach, Marty McGurko, and his staff are hereby extended congratulations on behalf of our entire community for their significant success they have achieved and our thanks for serving as positive role models for the young athletes of our community 
and for illustrating the reward which can be achieved through commitment and diligence in the pursuit of ex excellence. Congratulations. All right, everyone come up to get your proclamation. Students, you coaches. Gonna, are you going to mix them? We'll mix them, I think. Huh? Okay, we're good. Oh, what do you think? Well, we should probably You're a group at a time do, because all they're right, different. All right, we'll do one at a time. Do the juniors first. All right, juniors first. Team. I've been corrected. Come on, juniors. <laughs> it, it, that way you won't have... The, the mayor's got the juniors. All right, line up here. We'll go. Starters getting... You know what, guys, line up over here. How about that? And then when we're finished, stand over here. We're going to take some pictures. Okay? Congratulations. Good job. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Good job. Congratulations. 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 Good job. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Congratulations. Get a big break. Congratulations. Thank you. One more round of applause for you. Seniors, come on up, seniors. You got to form up over here in front of the uh, in front of the counter. Thank you. 
Gerald is a really tall kid over there. He's going to Yeah. No, they, they got to go downstairs. Oh, there's, it's all, there's no lights. Yeah, there's no, there's no lights. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Good seeing you. Bye, Jasmine. Oh, okay. Okay. 
I was like, why, why is Matt Bodino here? That makes sense. Makes sense. That went pretty, pretty well. Yeah, it went well. Okay. It's always good. Went okay. Went okay. We both got through the names without doing too much tripping. Yeah. Did you, uh, I was telling Tim, when you, when you No, that's, that's all right. When you gave the cheerleaders credit, the younger boy just, like, he grimaced. That <laughs> <laughs> is. All right, good job, everyone. Um, are we all signed and vouchers all? Are we all good to go yes. there, Nancy? I believe I think we, we are. finished those, right? Yeah, yes. mm -hmm. yep, unless we might have missed one or two. Okay, I will um, take a motion to open the meeting for 10 minutes, public comment, um, two minutes per speaker for the public to comment any governmental issue that a member of the public feels may be of concern to the residents of the township of Wyckoff. So moved. Second. Mr. Madigan? Yes. Mr. Melchione? Yes. Mr. Shanley? Yes. And Mayor Blumstrom? Yes. For um, an affirmative vote, the motion is approved. Thank you. Anyone wish to step forward or call in at 201-891-7000? Extension 2220, if you wish to make a comment. We welcome our scout here who's looking to earn a badge in government to see how government works. Thank you for joining us tonight. Seeing no one and hearing no one for public comment, I move to close public comment. Second. Mr. Madigan? Yes. Mr. Melchione? Yes. Mr. Shanley? Yes. And Mayor Boonstra? Yes. And carries. Uh, committee reports, Tim. Can we start with you? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be quick. Uh, the rec board did meet and they approved the coaches for the travel baseball uh, at the last meeting. Uh, they also held uh, U8 baseball tryouts um, last Thursday and they formed two te three teams. So out of the 49 children that signed up for it, they formed three teams. One is a, a first grade team and they formed two second grade teams. So approximately, I think 13 uh, children for first grade and uh, 12 on each team for the second grade. So out of the 49, 37 uh, got spots. And one did not show up and one was sick. Uh, so it was even less. So it was a good, uh, a good uh, event for the Wyckoff uh, rec. Uh, department. So that's all I have for now. Oh, the, the only other thing I have to report on is on the fireworks. It looks like the only available date that's going to work is September 24th. Um, so because I, I, I received a phone call from the fire chief uh, and he had said that the 10th really doesn't work because Fire One is doing their beach party on that Thursday. Oh. So with with the beach party on that Thursday, clean up on that Friday, and then the 9-11 event on that Sunday, it was a little too much to ask them to try to help out with uh, fireworks on the 10th. So he asked that we not do it on the 10th. So the only option right now is the 24th. So that's when I am. And I did get a commitment from Giuseppe Cassio of Lakeland that Lakeland Bank would contribute 5,000 toward it like they did last year. Right. And he's working on uh, Larry and Sarah for the same contribution. Great. Okay, that's it. That's my report. Thank you, Tom. Next, uh, yeah, just uh, congratulations again to our junior and senior football teams, their coaches, their parents. The show make us proud in Wyckoff, and uh, it's a nice thing to see teamwork and uh, the fruits of all the labors of everybody. So uh, it's a nice event we just had, and uh, it's nice. To Opportunity to congratulate all of them for all their hard work. I just want to reiterate, I was at the uh, this fire commission, I was at the, the fire department on Sunday morning for the monthly meeting. 
And uh, like Tim said, they confirmed that uh, the only day that would work would be September 24th as the 10th, Tim talked about the 17th is the fire convention. So um, I guess that's where we are. That's good news about Lakeland Bank. They're a great supporter of many things in town. And then the last thing I just have to say is uh, uh, finance and budget committee, we continue to uh, meet. Uh, we've already had six meetings. We're making progress. And obviously, we're extremely mindful of the inflationary pressures on our residents. And I'm sure the Board of Ed is doing the same thing as they craft their budget. So uh, we anticipate having that ready to introduce sometime in uh, March. So that's it. Thanks, Tom. Pete. All right. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I also want to congrat congratulate the junior and senior football team on their uh, championships. Um, the facility subcommittee meeting met last week. Um, there was five, five areas that we were focusing on. Um, it was the town hall exterior, the ladder back room, the Burgermeister room, and the building department lower level, and uh, the engineer's office. And in everyone's bin, there was a little bit of outline of some things that we're looking to do. And I know last meeting we briefly discussed that also. Um, the small conference room renovation is moving along. Hopefully within the next uh, few weeks or so, we'll have that room ready with some, uh, some nice technology in there where we could uh, do some Zoom meetings right on TV and not a pull down projector. So looking forward to that. And then lastly, the uh, military tribute banner program will be in this week's weekly email. If you haven't signed up for our email, please do so. Um, and that will be going live when it goes out on Friday, Friday, Friday. Thursday, morning. Thursday morning. Thursday morning. And that's all I have, Mayor. So you got one other thing, if I may, Mr. Mayor. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. I just want to remind Mr. Melchion, we're also tomorrow night, we're going to kick off the Parade Committee 2022 Memorial Day Parade. So looking forward to that first meeting uh, at the VFW tomorrow night. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll be brief as well. Planning Board uh, met last week. At what, it was a very short meeting. Um, there was a soil movement permit and a wall uh, at the same site um, at the corner of um, <clears throat> Ivy and Laurel, and that was uh, approved. Um, I mentioned that um, our municipal planner is in the process of beginning to work on a what I'll call a midterm update to our master plan to look at certain things like historic preservation, um, solar panels, um, um, and uh, I can't read my writing here, but I'll come back to it. Just it's an update on things um, that we might want to look at. Uh, oh, outdoor dining, outdoor dining. We um, to deal with if and when the governor's um, uh, emergency executive order covering outdoor dining, the expanded outdoor dining comes to an end. Um, we're going to want to look at possibly how that would fit in with our site. Every every site has a site plan and with our parking ordinance. So we're, she's going to have a look at, at some of those things. Um, police department is really nothing to report, along with the library. Historic preservation, um, the letter went out to the, um, to the homeowners of the 14 original Revolution era um, structures in town um, because we want to include them, the, the commission wants to include them in our master plan as part of the historic preservation element. Um, one of one owner came out um, just with some questions. Um, really didn't have a problem with having uh, his home uh, placed on that uh, on that list. Um, attended a board of health meeting last week. Um, the highlight was a pretty comprehensive presentation to the board of health, made by uh, OEM coordinator Sergeant Kyle Fair of the police department. Uh, was, he did a very good job, and it was very informative. Uh, Chamber of Commerce meeting is um, Thursday morning at 8 o'clock. I will be speaking and taking questions if anyone wants to join us. You're welcome to join us. At the Blue Moon. At the Blue Moon. Thanks. At the Blue Moon. <laughs> and that's all I have. Rob? Yep. The, uh, <clears throat> there's an ordinance on the agenda for, uh, for tonight. It's the, again, the vacation of that portion of Lebanon Street. We... You know, tonight was supposed to be the second reading. Tonight we're actually going to be reintroducing it again because mm -hmm. there was a typo on it that, in my mind, there's no rush on this. It's getting done, and it, it could be considered material where the, the street is 55 wide. 
the last ordinance was a typo. It said 25 wide. Actually, one of the residents who got a copy of it pointed it out to me. But uh, the good news is the, the, the case, the underlying case that was filed by one of the residents is going to be dismissed later this week. I talked to her, and she's not interested in pursuing it. So good. that will be able to wipe that one off. Um, I know you're tired of hearing about Maple Lake, but it's it's positive progress. Well, I'll keep giving you updates. They put uh, we, we had a survey done last week, and they put probably about 35, 36 stakes out there, corner corner markers, to kind I of outline them, our property. I saw them. Yeah. I actually walked it this weekend and saw it for myself that it was out there. Title companies now, and a, and a survey was done, and title companies now reviewing the survey, but there's no reason why we won't be able to close this. Within, I'm hoping the next two weeks. I right. hate to oh, give wow. you guys a date, but right. it should it should be happening pretty quick. Um, just want to confirm everybody got the memo we did on the on the charging stations and the in the model mm -hmm. ordinance. I wasn't <coughs> the last meeting to talk about it, but if you have questions, feel free to free to call. I had a meeting with uh, Doug Strike, our planner, our, our our affordable housing planner Beth McManus, and our consultant Megan York, with regards to the Evergreen units up at Christian Healthcare. Um, just making sure they, they get online and, and manage properly, and that's going well. And I, I didn't get the report on the last meeting. I think Ari was here for me, but we registered for the um, the opioid settlement. That's uh, great. We had a resident that tipped, that tipped Tom off, and Tom talked to me, and uh, we made sure we got on there in time. Did a bunch of Oprah stuff, but other than that, just the, the, the regular regular week. That's great. Great. Um, to come back to my report. Reminded me. We're also, uh, our planner is also going to look at EV charging stations um, and how we want to deal with that in the ordinance or master plan. And um, I pinch hit for Tom Madigan a week ago Monday, along with Pete and our um, um, our engineer, Mark DiGennaro, and met with, uh, I pinch hit for Tom on the sewer committee, met with uh, residents of Birchwood Drive. Um, Looking to um, to possibly extend the Terhune Ave Sycamac Ave um, sewer line extension that is moving along uh, pretty well, uh, very nicely, and uh, they're going to meet again and see if we can extend it even further up Birchwood Drive. Yeah, sure. I think it was a pretty good meeting, Pete. Yeah, How many was. residents yeah. on Birchwood? Would that What's that? Affect? How many residents on Birchwood would that affect? Well, it, it, there are 23 homes that it could affect okay. now. It That's depends okay. on how many want to join want in. To you need join enough in. to join in to make it feasible. Right. Yeah. I've yeah. got a preliminary plan, and it's, it's basically queued up. I'm ready to do an agreement on it. I just need to know who the final players are and who's leading the, the project, and we can get a sewer extension agreement together. All right. Let me – we ought to push uh, Eli to get that to – Get that together. I was a, uh, well, I have been speaking to Jerry Vogel. You know, I think he's, okay. I think he's Eli's talking good. to Eli, so yeah. hopefully I'll get the okay. figure All right. out what I'm doing. Well, we ought to get that done. Yeah. Okay. Um, anything else? If not, we'll adjourn the work session. No, nothing else. But just to adjourn? I think it was great. Oh, hold on. Can I ask a question? You could, I was going to invite you. We, we're going to have about a half hour here, which is free. But certainly ask a question uh, while we're in session. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Mm -hmm. I, I, we have a half hour here. I was going to chat okay. with you in between because we have okay. this is our work session meeting and our business meeting starts at eight o'clock. Okay. So I was going to come over and chat with you guys as, as to what's going on. So, okay. So, Tim? No, I just I think it was a great event for the juniors and the seniors tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Can, uh, so, yeah. thanks for having them in. And, no, it's great. Uh, I mean, my I have two boys that played on the senior team. And one that's going up to Ramapo next year, and those coaches did a great job yeah. of preparing him for yeah. high school. So that's great. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing him at Ramapo, and uh, I'll have I'll, I'll have an eighth grader next year still playing there, as they prep him to get up to high school as well. Great. Thanks. Make the motion. Yeah, motion to motion to adjourn. Second. Mr. Madigan. Yes. Mr. Melchion. Yes. Mr. Shanley. Yes. And Mayor Boonstra. Yes, With an the work vote, session. The motion is approved. I keep stepping on you, Nancy. I'm sorry. The work, <laughs> the work session is adjourned. <laughs>